How you going today guys? Today I'm going to be talking about ram horn snail infestation and how I deal with the problem. So if you want to hear about that, then stay tuned. How you going today guys? Blair's Aquatics come back at you with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about pond snails and ram horn snails infestation in your aquarium and how to deal with them in the most appropriate way. Um, these guys, I didn't think they would breed as rapidly as what they have right now. I got 10 of these, thinking they would just have a couple of babies here and there, but they have just outdone this tank way too much and it's time to deal with it now. So I'm just going to run you through the process and tell you how I deal with it and hopefully you guys can understand and, you know, take it in and be educational about it and stuff. So what I do is some of these guys I obviously want to keep, like this is an adult one right here. You can see I've got some pond snails up on the side glass and another ream horn snail. What you can see, that blur right in the centre of the camera right now, is actually ream horn snail eggs. And as you can see, every little dot there is a baby snail. And I've got them everywhere. Let's see if I can focus in. There, some there, some on the wood even. Um, they're also all over my leaves of my plants and stuff, so they love it. Say hello to my L144 Pleco. Nice shot of him right there. Um, but back to the snails, guys. They have just bred profusely in here. And like I said, I brought them with about 10 or so in the aquarium. So, and right now there's probably hundreds, and it doesn't look like there's hundreds right now, there's only a couple on the glass and stuff, but trust me, when the lights are off, they come out in full force. So, there is a product you can get which is called Snail Rid, but I personally don't like to use that because it can also kill your plecos, it can harm your fish and stuff like that, it's just full of, um, what's it, full of, um, iron or some um, copper I think it is full of copper and that can be very deadly to your plecos to your fish and that so I don't like it sorry I don't like to deal with it in that way I actually like to use a natural method which is like whether it's a yo-yo loach um, a clown loach something that loves to eat snails because it's then beneficial for, the, for them as well um, if you can get yourself a yo-yo loach or a clown loach something um, even a coolie loach for little pond snails, then go ahead and do it because that's going to be a beneficial food for um, your loach, but then it's also going to get rid of your problem. So in my aquarium next to me, my three foot long aquarium, I had a huge, huge pond snail infestation and I put one yo-yo loach in there and honestly within two weeks all the snails were gone. There was none on the glass, there was none on the ground, stuff like that. So from this tank now, I now just take a handful out, I'll throw them into my other tank and he'll just come and eat them up. He'll do his job for me and stuff. So it's awesome. When there's a natural way that you can handle a problem, then do it that way. Um, there's another way too, like very hard, but um, you can break down your whole entire aquarium, sort of sift out all your gravel, um, and completely clean your filter and all that but in my opinion that's just taking all the beneficial bacteria and stuff out of your aquarium so I don't believe in that way personally um, you can see this little pond snail just cruising up the glass so I might get him out right now and I'll just chuck him straight into this aquarium right there so he'll float down and my yo-yo loach will come up and get him soon so, yeah, but what I'm actually doing right now in my other aquarium is I've made, sorry, lights are off. I'll see if I can turn them on for you guys. Sorry. All right. So I've made this little trap just out of a water bottle that I put together. Um, there's my yo-yo loach right there, right near my Pleco cave, if it was focusing on him. Um, that's him right there, but all I've done here is just put um, the outside of the bottle back inside itself and I've put some algae wafers inside the bottle so 
hopefully the Yo-Yo Loach will get caught because those who have dealt with Yo-Yo Loaches know extremely how hard they are to catch. Um, so I've just done that method. I have caught him once before and put him into another aquarium so he can clean up a different problem. Now these tanks, don't worry guys, because these tanks are both the exact same temperature and they're both the exact same water parameters and stuff, so I understand you know, people will say, oh my god, you can spike him and stuff like that, but I know for sure I won't. So, I'm trying to track him in there now. He's been a little bit smart now because he hasn't gone in there as of yet. But, I'm sure I'll get him probably overnight or something. I'll put him in here. I'll probably leave him in here for about a week. Because I don't want all the snails gone, but I want, you know, at least 60-70% of them gone because, you know, they can reproduce very quick and stuff, but I do want to keep the snails in here because they have kept a lot of the algae off the glass for me and have kept the tank very clean. They just like to breed very fast. So, like I said, you can see one ram's one snail and you can see three lots of eggs on the screen right here, and that's nothing really. So there's actually four lots because there's one right there in the center of the glass now, and there's another one there. They just, they breed way too much. So, it's really good also if you have puffer fish because puffer fish absolutely love snails, mussels, all that, as people who own puffer should know. Um, so definitely look into that too. If you have a puffer, grab a handful out, chuck them in there and let them run around. Even if they do, some get away and get into plants and that, the puffer will hunt them down and will eat them. So don't stress about that. Um, I think that's about all for this video guys, I just wanted to run through how I get rid of my snail infestation problems. Um, if there's any other questions you'd like to ask or anything then feel free just to comment below. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel, there will be heaps more videos coming out lately. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and that because I enjoy filming videos, I enjoy um, letting you guys tell me what you'd like to see and stuff like that. So. It's great. Thanks, guys. You can see right there I've got a male L144. So, thanks, guys. I'll catch up with you soon.